In today's video, we're going to talk about SketchUp VR options. So this is one of the options to explore VR images using your SketchUp model. And today I'm using Sentio VR. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer and I'll see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all about VR using a SketchUp model as a VR model in your Oculus Go, Oculus Quest, Oculus Rift, whatever you um, Oculus headset you have or other headsets. Okay, I'm using, I'm exploring a specific app, and that's a paid app uh, called Sentio VR. So what you need to do to explore this app you have 14 days trial you can try it on i think it's a pretty cool app i've done a video about for lumion in 360 images you can do what i'm going to do in sketchup you can do with revit models as well but for if, while we're doing uh, lumion you have the the tours the 360 tours so basically you have a few 360 images stitched together with some information and that you can go from one to the next. Lumi, uh, SketchUp and Revit, you can actually uh, do walkthroughs. So a walkthrough, what it is, is that you can actually with the remote, in your hand remote when you're doing the Oculus, you can um, select a place in your model, you click it and you go there, okay? You press it and you go there. Uh, so it's not a walkthrough walkthrough, but is uh, you have more freedom to walk from one side to the to from transport from one side to the other of your model using just your hand remote, um, not like 360. 360 you are always just looking around. These walkthroughs you actually going from one place to another, so you have a bit more freedom for that. Okay. So today that's what we're going to explore. So I have this model in a few scenes. What you need to do first is actually um, upload, uh, go and download the, the Sentio um, tool, toolbar. Okay, so I'm going to go here. You have this Sentio VR. I'm logged in already. But basically what you're going to go here, extensions, extension warehouse. So basically, this is what you need to download. Of course, you're going to first log in and send you. Uh, so I'm going to have all the description uh, in the link in the in the, the all the links in the description of this video. So this is the app we're going to be talking about Sensio VR. You can log in with your Gmail account if you want. Um, and for the 14 trial, 14 days trial, uh, the 14 days trial, all you can do uh, once you logged in, you can go here and you have this is your home page in the trial you only have one project and in one project you can have um, um, a 360 tour that's what i use for lumion a 3d walkthrough just one okay uh, that's what i'm gonna use for sketchup and right now it's empty because i've deleted my test one and uh, a portfolio online portfolio that right now only has my lumion presentation okay while you're in trial you can only have one project um when you actually go for the full uh paid um paid uh, um app you have other options okay but we're going to talk a little bit about these options in the end of this video so uh this is what we've got uh once you've um this is the the, the app for the oculus go this is the access code everyone has a, a different access code i'm gonna blur this out so i think as, as a security thing but um yeah everyone has this uh, their own access code that they need to do to, uh, to upload it once they are in their app in their Oculus, okay? I'm just going to show you. Uh, so basically, if you have Oculus, you know that you need to have the app, Oculus app, in your iPad or in your phone. So if you go and, is, and you search for Sentio VR, you have this app that you can uh, download for your Oculus VR. So you have a bit of presentation, you can check it out um, the way you see the app inside your oculus um, gear vr oculus go oculus rift i'm already confused with the names uh, but anyway all the oculus um they always say oculus quest like in here too uh, but i have the oculus go and i tried and it works fine so that's that so let's go back to sketchup okay once you've downloaded your um 
sent you a VR extension. You need to log in like I've done here. I'm logged in. And after here, you have a few options. You can select scenes that you want to upload. There was a thing here because once you upload it, you can actually, you know, it doesn't matter what scene you are, but you can easily up, uh, go from one place to another in the model. So I don't know why you need to select a specific scene. But anyway, they ask you to select the scene. You have here to upload, view in VR, tutorials and questions about it and instructions. So let's just go and select a scene. I need to log in again. Okay, we are on. Just close this. I'm going to go and select the scene. So you select the scenes you want. You know, I'm just going to go for a few random scenes. You can select all the scenes if you want. And I'm done. And in here is going to appear all your uh, projects. Of course, I can. I'm in the trial version. You can have only one. So that's what I've got. So I already had the app, the the SketchUp, after all, installed. But once you've done that in your in your um, in Google, in your SketchUp model, you can go straight away to the browser to your uh, app to Sensio VR. And what you've got is if you go to your home and you enter your project and you go to the 3D walkthrough. That's where your SketchUp uh, presentation is. So you can actually see this presentation. You don't have a web presentation for this one, like you have the 360 images, but you can have a VR presentation and a, a meeting, a launch meeting. So this is pretty cool. That's a, a meeting that you can have with your client in your Oculus VR. Um, I never tried this uh, in live, so I'll need to check it out because you can't actually see, uh, talk with each other, but you can see at the same time as you and, you know, some how you have the communication when you're with your, um, on your phone, if you want WhatsApp, whatever, uh, but it has this access code that it can interact with your model. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually show you a video of how it looks inside uh, the, the VR. Okay. So I'll see you in a bit. So this is the Sensio experience in your, uh, this case, Oculus Go, but any VR, um, any VR is exactly the same. So this is the app, any VR, um, goggles. So in here you access, you put the access uh, code from your account. I just blurred it out. And you have here your 360 tours and your 3D walkthrough. So this is where my SketchUp model is. So you just need to wait a little bit for the load up. So this, this is the model. You can see there is a problem with the trees uh, textures. So when you're looking from the ground up, um, the textures are not all there. Uh, and they're not cut out as well as with the table, the color doesn't seem to, it seems to be flickery. Um, so, but it works pretty well. As you can see, every time I point the remote and you press uh, any, uh, um, horizontal surface, you go there. So you don't walk through, but you actually are transported straight away over to that point. As well as if you, in this, in this uh, remote control, as you can see, again, I'm going to point and I can go there straight away. Um, when you just slightly do a bit of pressure in your remote and you point it down, you go up in your model. I'm going to show you in a bit. You go up in the model. So it's pretty cool to have like a, um, an overview of the whole uh, project. In this case, um, you know, you have the, I'm the, in the Oculus Go. So this might work better in a, like the Quest 2. This probably is already had a better experience, but it works pretty well. As you can see, it takes a bit of time sometimes to load, uh, but overall it's a pretty cool experience. You can't add any text or information in here, but uh, anyway, it works really well. So, you know, you have a sense of what Sensio it is. Uh, if you want to take a look, I've done a video about Lumion experience and that's with the 360 tour inside Sensio as well. Uh, what I find difficult is to actually um, personally. So it's just me working in my business as a garden designer. Um, I'm not sure how 
I'm going to justify investing this money, especially um, right now when things are a bit in the air still, how in practice you're going to share this with your client. Not everyone has Oculus. Um, I'm, you know, it's not practical for me to share my equipment with my client. Um, is not hygienic i think but anyway uh le there is a, a other things the browser uh, presentation as well is pretty cool especially for the lumion panorama images um but i think it's a bit steep in terms of the price uh for a bigger company for sure it should be you know it's it's worth it um but um yeah uh, I'm not sure about the pricing, but give it a try in terms of what the app and the, it, the capabilities and potential. Um, it's amazing. Uh, it's really, you know, what you look for in in uh, in uh, in this kind of software. Uh, but let me know what you think. And uh, we're going to be exploring other VR options and solutions being for SketchUp, Twinmotion or Lumion soon. See you guys see you in the next video.